Namaste everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We are here to do a quick week ahead energy check-in. What does the next week look like for all of us? I've already shuffled and cut the deck, so I'm going to start the reading right away. The first card we draw for the theme of next week. What is the theme for next week for everybody? It's the Knight of Pentacles. And we can see it. Yeah. So it's the Knight of Pentacles. The week ahead seems to be um, quite slow for most of us. But it uh, is going to be um, a young energy uh, with deliberate, practical and steadfast movement. Um, we will all be focused on our work, uh, focused on taking steps towards our goal. Um, very steadfast, secure week for everybody. We'd be um, very practical in the decisions that we make. Uh, but overall, um, seems like a slow week, but a very focused, stable and practical week focused on work mostly and our finances. The obstacle is the Ace of Pentacles. So if you are planning to start something new, uh, whether it's business or anything else, this week will not be ideal to start something new because if you do, I foresee some kind of delay coming in uh, in a new project or a new business or even if it's a um, any kind of a new start that you want to make. Even if it is like buying a home or probably making a down payment for a home or anything. If, it, if you're planning to start something new this week, I think there would be some kind of a delay in the start of something new. So what is the action? The advice is the Ten of Cups. So this week seems to be something uh, which is asking us to be more focused on our emotional well-being, spending time with our family, uh, an overall spiritual and emotional fulfillment, a lot of joy and contentment in being with the family, nurturing our family, our relationships, seems to be uh, the advice. Let us see the first half of the week. How does the first half look for us? The Queen of Cups. So the first couple of days of the week seems to be uh, where we will be addressing our emotions. We will not shy away from uh, being uh, in our fields and expressing our emotions in, uh, in uh, diving deep down into our emotional selves and seeing what do we truly want, how do we truly feel, what is our soul calling, where do we want to go. Um, how do we feel about the people in our life? Uh, how do we feel about the various relationships we have? And how do we want to um, express ourselves to the people we love and care about? Or what do we think about the relationships we have with people? Uh, a lot of uh, intuitive hits coming uh, for all of us, but the first couple of days of the week definitely seems something where we will be focusing on our the requirement of our soul and our emotions. The midweek, uh, five of swords. So the midweek, we should be choosing our battles wisely. Uh, it definitely seems a few harsh words exchanged. Uh, bruising of the ego in some way possible, maybe some kind of altercations at workplace, um, wanting to win at any cost, but definitely any win, is it really worth it? Do we really need to go into that battle? Don't we, don't we have another option? Do we not have a different choice? We always have a choice. So choose your battles wisely. Do you really need 
to make this choice, do you really need to go in and have those harsh words exchanged or hurt someone else's ego or pride or, or feelings? Is that really necessary? So be a little cautious about the way you feel, the way you think in the midweek. The weekend, uh, seven of pentacles. Okay, so the weekend really seems to be a place where we are more patient. We are getting the return on our investments. We seem to be tending to our garden, tending to our relationships, tending to our family, tending to our emotions. It's a place where uh, we are looking at ourselves, a lot of self-love, self-care, even um, investing time in our hobbies and our interests and our passions and um, giving more time to ourselves, basically having that ideal weekend that we would want to have, um, appreciating uh, our own growth, appreciating our own experiences and the wisdom that we have received in all these years and um, appreciating the time spent with our family and the time we have right now to spend with our family. So the weekend really seems to be that nice, relaxed, chilled out, ideal weekend that we would want. So overall, the week uh, seems to have mixed energies and it's ending on a very nice, calming note. So that's all I have for you. Have a great week ahead. Namaste.